Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and this video is again for the educational purposes and in this video I will teach you how to get Mac OS bootable installer on your USB drive and using a virtual machine on Windows. In my previous video I explained how to get a virtual machine of Mac OS Mojave on your Windows PC and in this video we will make a bootable USB installer for Mac OS Mojave to create a Hackintosh for your system. So this video is solely for educational purposes. If you want to use Apple Mac OS in any commercial use or personal use, I will strictly prefer you to get a Mac based system, but I'm making this video for the educational purposes and for those who want to try out Mac OS before they wanna shift to the Apple machines and how it helps in their workflow. So I'm not recommending in any sense to make custom Hackintoshes or to use this system for your commercial work. So let's begin with this video and in this video I will tell you how to make the bootable USB installer using the virtual machine. So we have already made the virtual machine in our previous video. Let's boot directly into that. And remember the virtual machine has some performance issues and graphics issue and it wastes a lot of CPU and GPU resources. We are booting in. And ta -da. So we'll sign in and right now there is no USB we can see. So if we go here and click hard drives we will get our hard drives and now I will plug into my USB. So we have connected Sandix Ultra USB 3 and if I click this so the USB is inserted here and you can insert it when you have plugged the USB into your windows. You go in here in devices USB and you select the Sandex Ultra USB and it, it will be available here. Okay, so once it's here, I have already copied my Clever Configurator, my Clever Bootloader, EFI and install Mac OS 15 here. So what I have to do is I have to copy all of these on the desktop so we can format the USB itself to make the bootable installer. So we are done with our copy and now what we have to do is we have to unzip this we also have to go to the safari to find the terminal command for installing mac os and it will be available on our apple support site so let's go there we go down 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 so we are going to get Catalina so that that's not available right now but we can change the name from Mojave to Catalina for our purpose we'll copy that or we will minimize this and voila our Mac OS 15 is available now all we have to do is we have to open the folder come on we go applications, we move it here, and we copy paste it here. Okay, so now we have to rename our USB to OS X because the name is simpler. We go search terminal. So we enter the code we copied from the website and we make little changes okay so before we paste because this terminal is very very user not friendly so we're gonna paste the code first here and then we're gonna change our mac my volume drive to os x and mojave to just 15. so remember don't forget and don't do mistakes in naming for the smooth installation i will prefer you you go with my way like the names and the stuff i used but if you want to make things more personal i don't mind you using uh custom names but remember this this name will be changed right right away after the installation so there there will be no sense in using some custom naming and trying to be smart okay so again this thing pasted to the wrong. so now i'm pasting the modified code 
and I press enter. It asks me for the user password, but it won't display. So don't confuse about that. So I enter the password, I press enter, and then it says press yes for uh, further installation. And now we will peacefully wait. Look at that. That OS X is changed to install Mac OS Catalina right away. So no need for custom naming. And remember, you can also make bootable Mac OS Mojave, High Sierra, Sierra, Al Capitan, Yosemite, Mavericks, whatever you want. So it's an educational video. You can do whatever you want. You can learn from different old softwares and new softwares. So let's wait for this to finish. So we are done with installation and now we'll move to our next part, which is closing this and this. So here is our Mac OS Catalina Tando 15. We close this and we open this beautiful thing and we open the Clover configurator itself. Uh oh, okay. So we go here in mount and then we go here and we will mount our EFI on install Mac OS Catalina. We'll press mount, we will enter the super secret password, we will open the partition and in the description below I will add the link of this folder. So once this folder is installed or copy you can say we double click this and while it's copying we open this this is the update so updates are very important i prefer you to install the latest update whenever you possibly can okay we say continue we say, we say change install location we select our usb and we click customize in customize we click clover ue5 booting only and then here depending on your system specification i will not be able to completely help you out with this because every system is unique but i can help you out with some basic uh, differences you're gonna make so the first four are a compulsory and then we go here and then we go down here and apfs driver loader is very important without this the system won't boot then if you are using Mac OS Mojave, High Sierra, or Catalina, and you have a system which is Intel Z270 or Intel Z170 or H170 or H270, you can go with OS X Opio Fix 3 DLV. And if you have Z370 or Z390, I will prefer you to get OS X Opio Fix 2 DRV 2000. So that's an other CAX which is not available right now so you will not use any of this if you are on Z370 and Z390 then here in additional drivers you have to use NVMe Express if you are on an NVMe drive you have a 970, 960 Pro, Evo, whatever you have to use this if you are on NVMe drive and you can also use this English DXE then you have to click install RC script on the target. Then you go up and see nothing misses. Okay. Mm, okay, okay. And then you here, you select firmware hash service fix. So this is in Apple File World U2 USB driver. After that, you just click install and you enter your super secret password. You press enter and you wait for the miracle to happen. Okay, once this is installed, you close this. You go back to your Clever Configurator. Now, this time you go here in home button and you use the config.plst, which is in front of EFI, EFI, Clover Config. You press OK and then you go to the boot. Here you have to enter these values and you have to change this to at least 5. This is the time before the system boots into the drive. Then you go to graphics and you check everything is OK. okay. Then you go in GUI and everything is. I will prefer you, you click custom entries and tools. 
very important part okay then you go to graphics you make sure if you're on Intel you have to use inject Intel if you're on AMD any card that will perfectly work if you are on Nvidia remember Nvidia 600 and 700 series are supported in Mac OS Mojave other than that won't work then you click load V BIOS you have to click this for sure then we move in Kext and Kex. you select Apple RTC Intel and kernel panic and now when you are in SM BIOS you have to select iMac 18,3 iMac 18,3 is very nice for most of the stuff if you are on Intel 4 generation then I will prefer you iMac 14 if you are on anything newer than 4 generation I will prefer you you go with iMac 17 or 18,3 and if you are, remember if you are using Vega GPU Vega 56, 64, Frontier liquid cool whatever go with iMac Pro so this is the pro tip okay after that once this all is done you click save and exit so once this is saved all you need to do is you need to shut down your virtual machine and we will boot into our BIOS to proceed with the Mac OS Catalina installation so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and remember this video is solely for educational purposes i'm not recommending you to get hackintosh these machines can be crappy these machines can be dangerous for your commercial uses so i would prefer you go with the apple mac pros which are highly expensive and apple will rob you so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it and hope you enjoyed it and if you have any question query let me know in the comment section below and watch the next part so you know how to boot into the mac os catalina directly from your pc hardware so see you soon take care allah hafiz